Welcome to the exciting 52nd episode of Mailbag Monday. Look at all these things. Let's get into it. And yes, I'm drinking coffee today because I'm on call this week at work and I can't be drinking beer, so so there. Uh, let's start with this box here. It says two car LED lights, 25 millimeter side pin. Interesting. Wow, a big box for just that. Okay, those are interesting little flowers. So it says that they're for their car LEDs. So I guess that means they're probably 12 volts. Let's just see. G4 9 SMD 5630 25 millimeter cool white 6000 K home spotlight lamp LED bulbs side pin. Uh, I got these from Hello China. Uh, I got them at auction though, uh, but that listing's gone. I got it for 73 cents at auction. Currently going for uh, $1.99. So what does it say down here? Cool white. Um, Nine LEDs on it. Beam angle 120. Oh, DC 5 to or 8 to 25 volts. Okay. So it'll definitely work automotive, but you can use it wider than that. That's slick. Um, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, okay. Easy to install, including under cabin, RV, boat, landscaping, etc. Spotlight, no shadow. Spotlight, but they're calling it 120 degrees wide. That's not really spot in my book. Let's go play with it. Okay, power supply is set to 12 volts. And let's actually look at the circuit first. So here's the business side of this thing. Um, it looks like it's got a little bridge rectifier there. So it doesn't care the polarity coming in. That's interesting. We have an inductor and a little six pin chip. A D, what are you? D3815C. Hmm. I'm going to guess that's either a buck or a boost uh, kind of a thing. Given the inductor, there's a diode there. The big capacitor, resistor, and a, and a little capacitor. The big capacitor is going to be smoothing. So, yeah, that'll be constant current uh, kind of buck boost sort of LED driver sort of thing. Um, and... Looking on this side, it looks like there's, well, there are nine LEDs, and it looks like they're sort of running in uh, three s parallel th sets of three series. Uh, if you can just sort of see the tracks, I'm not sure whether you can or not, but it looks like this one, this one, and this one. Um, these three, and these three, I think. I don't know, it's hard to see, but... Uh, so that'll be like nine ish volts, which makes sense because that's kind of the minimum voltage it said on the listing, right? Well, eight volts, I think it said on the listing up to 25. So yeah, that'll be a, some kind of a constant current driver. It's anyway, let's, let's just hook it up and play with it. So with that rectifier bridge there, it really doesn't matter which way we hook it up. I've got 12 volts on the old power supply over here. Let's turn it on. Oh yeah, that's bright. So I should be able to, let me just run that that voltage down. There's nine volts, it's starting to dim. 12, 13, 14, 16, 15. It's drawing 160 milliamps. Okay, that's cool. Let's just bring that back down a little bit and let's uh let's throw a voltmeter across that smoothing cap i'm gonna guess that's what's uh feeding to those leds that's showing 10.3 volts and i was guessing maybe about nine volts across each set of leds so that's not bad um and i'm not sure that i want to blind myself by looking on the other side there but that's probably what this guy's... Yeah, okay. So that's pretty freaking bright, too. So, 
I should be able to feed that from AC too, shouldn't I? Hmm. Huh. Okay, so this is an old desk lamp that I've got. It's just a transformer in the back. It's supposed to use a little halogen bulb up top there. But if these pins fit, and they do, so it puts out about 12 volts. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, check that. And it's facing the wrong way, but that's pretty freaking bright. I could modify those pins to go the other way. And that's not even flickering. Oh, I like that. Okay, next in we have quantity 1, 100 f 3 ytwz ms That's nice and descriptive. Its declared value is 5 bucks. Oh, it's a bag of LEDs. Nice. Now what kind of LEDs they are. Get down the trusty old tester here. What are these? A 3 millimeter, first of all. Okay. So let's see what happens when we light them up. There's a 20 milliamp. Okay. Oh, they're color changers. Oh, that's slick. Did we get, yeah, we do get a blue. Nice. They're just a slow color change. Are they a slow fast or just a slow? Because remember, there's some other ones that I had. Um, which ones? Oh, in that Christmas tree. Yeah. That they were slow and fast, both. These seem to be just a steady slow. Well, those are nice. Remember, Big Clive used some of these for uh, modifying various Poundland items to be a little bit more uh, artistic. That's cool. Let's go find what the listing says. 100 pieces, 3 millimeter slow flashing LED diodes diffused round top ultra bright USA from Caghog. Um, this is a current auction that they've got going on, which will be done by the time you see this, but whatever. Um, they seem to have several of these on auction all the time. I bought them at auction for $1.66. Um, these ones are currently a day out going for one thirty three, but you know, it'll change. And it says that they're in Los Angeles, California, United States, as do all of their listings from this seller. But, as you may have noticed on the package, these were actually shipped from Hong Kong. Caveat emptor. So what do we have to say for ourselves down here? RGB slow flash, water clear, uh, the ones that I've got are slightly frosted, whatever. Um, the wave dominant wavelength, it's three colors. It's not going to have a dominant one. Uh, 3 to 3.4 voltage, 30 angle 30 degree angle yeah whatever all right next in is rgb light so it seems to be led day today that's okay leds are nice Ooh, not just any leds these are led filaments you know those fancy filament led bulbs you can get those bits separate. That's cool. Um, oh, who is it? Uh, one of the other YouTubers made up a uh, an eight segment LED. So instead of using just you know, straight segments like that, he used eight of these and made up a board for them. Ah, oh, who is it? Oh, I'll, I'll go and find it when I uh, when I do the edit, and I'll put his name somewhere in here and. Maybe put a link up there if I can find it. 6978 Super Bright 5 Pieces Set Cobb LED Candlelight Source Film Bulb Lighting. I got them from Talk Quickly, who doesn't have anything in his store at the moment. But there, there was a theory uh, on the last mailbag that the reason that a lot of these guys don't have anything in their store right at the moment is for Chinese New Year's. But that's over. That's been over for a few days now. So I don't know. So here's a search for that term, and I'll use that for the link. Here's, and here's just one randomly selected seller. Uh, I paid a dollar ninety-eight for two sets, or no, each for two sets of them. Um, I didn't pay shipping. They are a one watt, fifty to sixty volts. Wow, 
either warm white or pure white. I'm not sure which I bought, but whatever. Um, hmm. So we may not be able to light these if they really are 50 or 60. Well, let me just... So I just uh, quickly took a look at a bunch of different listings for them. And yeah, they all seem to say 50 or 60, 50 to 60 volts. Wow. Well, it's not what I expected. Oh, well, let's play with them and see if they're lying to us. I don't even know if I can generate that much voltage. Okay, I've been toying with these things a little bit off camera. Um, I got my power supply set to 19 volts, which is about as high as it'll go. And I've got it set to current limit at 15 milliamps because the um, listings seem to agree on 15 to 20 milliamps. So when I turn it on with 15 milliamp current limiting, I just get that. If you zoom in. Um, let me put some sunglasses over that for you. So you can see individual, uh, is there five individual LED segments or LED chips in there so okay i'm just going to just going to leave those sunglasses over it and zoom out a little bit so i'm currently limited at 15 milliamps right now i'm going to start turning it up i wonder if those listings meant a 15 or 150 milliamps i don't know uh, let's crank it up here and find out there's 115 and you can still discern the individual chips, or at least I can. So, 40, 150. That's reasonably bright. Um, let's try 200. There's 200. That's interesting. Slightly warm, not ridiculously hot. Huh. So that's ah, damn it. What was it current? What was it limiting at? So that's 3.93 volts to get that brightness. Okay, at 200 milliamps cute. I'm sure there's a project in there somewhere. I just don't know where it is yet. Next in we have expansion board module. Oh goody. Those are always fun. Oh, that's well, sort of an expansion board module. It's a test clip for eight pin surface mount. Do I have an 8-pin surface mount device around here? Yes, I do have an 8-pin surface mount device on uh, this little DigiSpark. So this guy just clamps over there and makes contact. Let's get this straight. It makes contact with the 8 pins and then breaks it out to there so that you can uh, test it or Oh, so you can uh, plug that into a breadboard and then break out the test uh, test pins, or you can use it to do in-circuit programming of uh, of one of those guys, uh, the AT Tiny eighty five. Not sure what is going to be my use case yet, but both are good options. SOIC8 SOP8 flash chip IC test clip socket adapter BIOS 24 slash 25 slash 93 programmer GM. Not what sure what that all means. I got this from Good Module. Um, I just bought it at a regular price of $3.66 from this exact listing, which I'll link to, of course. There's other ways of doing this too. Um, these test clips here. Again, you just put it into your programming board and you drop the chip in in the top. That's for if you want to program the chip before you drop it into a circuit. This allows you to do it after it's in the circuit. And the last thing in is modules. Plural. Mm. I like me some plural modules. What do we got? No, it's just one. And it is... 
Oh, it's one of those Nokia displays again. Okay. Get out. I like that they pack these in static bags. But they're a pain in the butt to get out sometimes. So yeah, that's another one of those. Uh, like that one. Okay, and those are... Those are right handy. Um, I'm just going to, since it's not soldered up, I'm not going to bother, but we've seen these things before. They're useful. Let's uh, see where and how much. 84 by 48 LCD display module, white background LCD with PCB Nokia 5110 ass. I'm, I've been told, and it seems to hold out, that these suffixes they put on there are a reference to their store name in this case superstar um currently selling for two dollars and 93 cents i got mine at auction from this dude for two dollars even canadian he's even got it listed in canadian dollars without any other currency how civilized and the listing has a bunch of good stuff down here um all the usual things for uh for talking to these things Use a 3.3 volt controller, otherwise the display could be quite vague. And then in the next line, power supply 2.7 to 3.3 volts. 5 volts is okay, but part of the screen comes black when tested. Data interface 2 to 5, 2.7 to 5 volts. Backlight power supply 3.3, yada yada. And the physical connections. So there's today's mailbag items in all their glory. That was fun, and it seems to be LED day, or display day mostly. Um, so these, what do we got here? These flower LEDs took one month to get here. The Nokia display took nine weeks. These slow flashing uh, three millimeter LEDs, just slowly doing their thing over there, took two months to get here. The filaments took two months, and the clip, took two months or what ten and a half weeks is my note okay so these all uh were ordered and arrived in 2018 and they've just been chilling in my first in first out buffer over in the corner there um i think you got a glimpse of it in my shop tour uh not that long ago anyway i hope you enjoyed thanks again as always for watching i I really appreciate it. Um, and a special thanks to my Patreon supporters who helped me not go broke buying all this stuff. Um, this is, I think that might end up in a lamp. These LEDs are going to end up in some random projects at some point. Displays just for general stock. These filaments, I'm going to go back and see if I can find that other project that that guy that I was thinking of. Man, I wish I could remember people's names. Um, and see if that's a reasonable thing to try, or you know, maybe I'll do something else with them. Who knows? They might make interesting uh, neon lights or fluorescent lights or some kind of lighting on my model railroad. Uh, and this, more test equipment. It's always good to have cheap test equipment. Thanks as always. I will talk to you later.